Hello, my name is Elena. I am learning English. This is my story about how I improved my English and the wonderful experiences I had in London. I want to tell you about my life in this fascinating city and about my amazing teacher, Mrs. Smith. You can read my story and learn English with me. I am at Heathrow Airport in London. There are many people here. I feel tired and a little scared. Everything is new and different for me. I have come to London to improve my English. My flight was long and now I am very tired. The airport is big and noisy. I do not understand the announcements. They are very fast and in English. People are talking around me, but I do not understand anything. I feel alone and lost. I see a lady in uniform and go to her. Excuse me, can you help me? Smiling nervously, the lady smiles and says something fast. I do not understand. She repeats, but I only understand some words. I feel frustrated. I need to take a taxi to my accommodation. I go to the exit of the airport. There are many taxis. I go to a driver and show him the address on a paper. The driver nods and puts my suitcase in the car. During the ride, the driver tries to talk to me. He says something about the weather, but I just smile and nod. I do not understand much of what he says. I feel bad because I cannot communicate well. Finally, we arrive at my destination. I pay the driver and enter the building. I go up to my room and fall on the bed. I am exhausted. I think about my first day in London and how hard it was. I feel my English is not enough. That night, I hardly sleep. I am worried. How will I survive in this country if I do not understand people? I need to improve my English. Today is my second day in London. Today is my first day of English class. I am excited, but also a bit nervous. I want to learn English very much. I arrive at the school. The building is old and beautiful. I see many students from different countries. We all smile at each other and go to the classroom. Our teacher's name is Mrs. Smith. She is very nice and has a big smile. She welcomes us and asks us to introduce ourselves. Hello, my name is Elena. I am from Spain. I am here to learn English because I want to study and work in London. The other students also introduce themselves. There are people from Japan, Brazil, Italy, and many other places. We all want to learn English. Mrs. Smith tells us about her method of teaching. She says we will not use traditional textbooks. Mrs. Smith asks us how we studied English before and what we think is the best method to learn English. I tell her that I like watching movies with subtitles but I don't know what the best method to learn English is. Mrs. Smith tells us that she will teach us a very effective method based on using the language. Our teacher tells us that we will not have to study and we will not use textbooks. We will immerse ourselves in the language. This is great for me because I don't like studying or using textbooks. Then we talk about what we should focus on when learning a new language. Mrs. Smith tells us we need languages for communication, to share ideas and understand ideas. So, when you learn a new language, the best way to learn is to use it for exchanging ideas. This is what we will do in our course. Most of the time, we will speak. You spoke a lot when you learned your native language as a child, and you should speak a lot when you learn English as an adult. Unfortunately, many students spend a lot of time memorizing new words or learning grammar rules, but they do not use English for speaking. They study about the language, but they don't use it much. Of course, you need to learn new words and new grammar, 
but you don't have to study them. During this course, Mrs. Smith will show us a very simple and effective way to learn new words and grammar. I like what our teacher says. Our lesson continues. We talk about our hobbies and what we do in our free time. We speak in pairs or with our teacher. It is great, and we talk for the whole lesson. I enjoy it so much. I have never spoken so much English during one lesson in my life. I have never learned this way before. I am happy and look forward to the next lesson. The next day, one of the students asks a question that interests me. She asks what the best way to learn new words is. Our teacher says there are many things you can do to learn new words. She tells us that reading is statistically the most effective way to learn new words. When people read while learning a new language, they learn twice as fast as people who don't read. It is good to read for at least 30 minutes every day. Mrs. Smith shows us what to do if we want to get the most out of reading. First, it is very important that the book or text you read is interesting to you. It is important that you enjoy reading. The book can be a nice story or have useful information for your job or hobby. Don't read a text that isn't interesting to you. It is also good to read a text in which you know most of the words. When you don't know many words, you can get frustrated. Always enjoy what you do while using English. It is good to choose a text that is interesting and suitable for your level. When you read the text and see a word you don't understand, look up the word in the dictionary and then continue reading. You don't have to write the word down anywhere. You don't have to make a list of new words. You don't have to try to remember the word. Just focus on understanding the text. When it is clear to you what the word means, continue reading. Every time there is a new word for you, do the same. Reading also has another great advantage. When you read, you learn new words, and also how every word is connected to other words in the sentence. Mrs. Smith's advice about reading inspired me. That evening, I went to a bookstore near my apartment. There. I found a small section dedicated to books for English learners. I chose a few books that seemed interesting and were at my level. I picked a novel about a young woman living in London, a collection of short stories, and a book about British culture. I couldn't wait to start reading them. When I got home, I made myself comfortable and began reading the novel. It was challenging at first, but I kept my teacher's advice in mind. Whenever I came across a word I didn't know, I looked it up in my dictionary. It slowed me down, but I was learning so much. After an hour of reading, I felt accomplished and motivated to continue. The next day at school, I shared my experience with my teacher and classmates. Many of them had also started reading in English. We discussed the books we chose and how we were progressing. Mrs. Smith was pleased and encouraged us to keep reading every day. Over the next few weeks, I noticed a significant improvement in my vocabulary. Reading not only helped me learn new words, but also gave me a better understanding of how sentences were structured. I started to feel more confident in my English skills. One day, our teacher introduced a new activity, role-playing. We were divided into pairs and given different scenarios to act out. My partner and I were given a situation where we had to pretend we were in a restaurant ordering food. This activity was fun and challenging. It forced us to think quickly and use the English we had learned in a practical way. Role-playing became a regular part of our lessons. Each time, 
we were given different scenarios, such as booking a hotel room, asking for directions, or having a job interview. These activities were incredibly beneficial. They helped us practice real-life conversations and made us more comfortable speaking English. I noticed that people were usually very patient and kind, even when I made mistakes. This encouraged me to keep practicing and improving. Looking back on my journey, I am proud of how far I have come. From struggling to speak basic sentences to running my own gallery in London, it has been an incredible journey. Learning English opened up so many opportunities for me and changed my life in ways I never imagined. I am grateful for my teacher and the methods she taught us. They were effective and enjoyable and made learning English a positive experience. I am also thankful for all the people who supported me along the way in London. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely check out How Writing Improves Your English. Click here to watch the next video and continue your learning journey.